Hi there, this is Terry Van Noy, and thanks for watching this video on my YouTube channel, Math Class with Terry V. This is the inside of my online classroom, and I work with students live. If you'd like to have a live connection, live um, lesson with me as your math teacher, I can support what you're doing in class and maybe cut down some of the frustration that you're feeling if you're feeling behind. I can support you and help you out. So give me a call. The first lesson is free, and I can show you how everything works. Or you can go to my website and we can uh, email and have a conversation. All right, let's get to today's video. This is uh, also continuing to the video series using the unit circle and looking at trig functions and how they relate. So I've gone over the basics of the unit circle. We've done uh, radians and degrees, figured out how to convert back and forth. Then we're going to talk right now about coterminal angles as it relates to radians. And you can also see coming up in some future videos is common trig values in the unit circle and solving trig equations. All right, let's get to it. So here we have the unit circle, and you've seen this diagram before in my previous videos. We talked about how you can change the name of certain angles. Now, the previous video was degrees, and let's go ahead and just go ahead and make an angle here, and, and we're going to focus on radians. So this is a pi over 6 um, degree right here, okay? It's one complete pi unit, which is 180 degrees, but we're dividing into six parts, so it's one-sixth of the way from here to here. So that's called pi over six. All right, you notice how if you double that, you go two pi over six, which is really pi over three. And that's 30 degrees each time. All right, so you have to, when you're using radians, you have to really be thinking in terms of fractions. You have to know your fractional units. So... A positive angle is from the zero point going counterclockwise. So again, we're going to call that pi over 6. Okay, That's its pretty typical positive name. Now, if we were to go backwards, okay, remember that the entire spin around the circle in radians is 2 pi. Okay, So we really have 2 pi, but we're short pi over 6. Now it's a little bit tricky, but what you have to do is think about, since we have a 6 denominator, then 2 pi would really be 12 pi over 6, okay? So think about one complete spin around, if we're using sixths in our denominator, is 12 pi over 6. That's a complete rotation. Now in our fraction, um, radians that we're going to be working with here at least for this angle if we're keeping it in sixths we have to think in terms of 12 over 6 for a complete rotation and even just 6 over 6 pi for a half of a rotation so in other words the coterminal name of this pi over 6 angle is 12 pi over 6 take away one of those six so we could also call that angle negative 11 pi over 6 okay because we are one sixth shy of a pi unit all right now again as I mentioned in the previous video we also use coterminal names for angles if you add a complete spin all right so let's stay in a positive direction and if I go open it up here to pi over 6 if I add another complete rotation in other words this kind of rotation here, then I'm going to add another 12 pi over 6. Okay, so what would that be? Well, it would be 13 pi over 6. Okay, now in a negative direction, I would be adding 12 more pi over 6 to that in a negative direction. So I'd be negative 23 pi over 6. Okay? Here's another example. Let's say we open this angle up to 2 pi over 3. Okay? Which is 120 degrees if we're thinking in terms of degrees. But in radians, it's 2 pi over 3. Alright, now notice that in this case we're forced to use thirds as my denominator. So a half a spin around the circle 
or open all the way flat, would be 3 pi over 3. And the entire spin all the way around would be 6 pi over 3. And we have to think in terms of that because we're going to be adding some spins here in our angle names. So its easiest name here is 2 pi over 3. Okay, now if we add another complete spin around like this, that would be another 6 pi over 3 added. So we add those two up and we get 8 pi over 3. Okay, one complete spin plus two thirds of a pi more. All right, let's go in a negative direction. So starting here and ending up at that angle there, it's going to be 6 pi over 3 minus 2 pi over 3. We're going in a negative direction. Or you can think about it like this. This is negative 3 pi over 3 plus 2 more which means that the negative version of this angle is negative 5 pi over 3. Okay? Now if we add an, a complete negative spin around looking like that, we would add negative 6 pi over 3 more. One more complete rotation in a negative direction. So that would be negative 11 pi over 3. These are four names for the same angle. These are called coterminal angles. All right, let's look at some problem examples. All right, now when we look at these two diagrams, we're focusing on the blue angle here. And notice number one is a negative angle the way that the arrow goes. And number two is also a negative angle opening up into the blue angle. So they give you um, a missing part there and you need to figure out what the radian degree measure is for that angle. Go ahead. So on number one, notice how we're starting here at the zero point, but we're going backwards, so that's a negative angle measure. And we're not going the complete half turn there, which would be um, 12 pi over 12. Okay, we are shy 7 pi over 12, so that's why it's got to be a negative 5 pi over 12. That's this part of the angle. And number 2, again we're going negative here, but we are missing 2 pi over 9 from this vertical part. Now it would be easier to think of this in 18ths because my answer here is given in 18ths. So think about 4 pi over 18. All right. Now, that means that we have 18 eighteenths, 18 pi over 18 to go from a negative direction here. And then we have, and we are shy 4 pi over 18. All right. In other words, that leaves me with 5 more. Okay. So this has got to be 5 pi over 18. Now again, it's a lot of working with fractions. You just have to kind of visualize these little reference points here. So the total negative direction would be negative 23 pi over 18. All right, we're going to try two more. Here we have number three. It's a negative angle, and we are not going all the way across here, but we are shy pi over 6. So how much is that blue angle? And number four we are going not only just past that vertical point, but pi over 6 further. So what's the entire blue angle? All right, here we go. Here in number 3, we are going a negative um, distance there in, in angle terms. And notice how we are not going completely flat. And this would be um, one complete pi radian unit, which would be 6 pi over 6. Okay, any other name for just plain pi, we'll call it 6 pi over 6 because of this denominator right here. But we are shy 1 pi over 6. So that means we are negative 5 pi over 6. Here in number 4, we are, if we went all the way across flat, that would be 6 pi over 6. Okay, let's keep the same denominator there. But 
we are going only half of that, so 3 pi over 6 plus one more. So that's why it's 4 pi over 6. And of course, we always want to simplify our fractions, and so that's why it becomes 2 pi over 3. So the unit circle uh, diagram I've used before just gives you a good visual of how all these little fraction parts of radians are related. And you have to be able to determine a positive and a negative version of an angle. It's coterminal names. All right, thanks for watching and trying these problems. Look for the next video, which is where we start talking about the trig values of these angles and sine, cosine, and tangent values. Thanks for watching.